My passion is win-win. Whoever you're working with on whatever you're working on, there's no reason why both of you can't win. Bill is a, uh, a Minnesota original in everything he's done. The blue collar ethic and background, I think, just makes him realize he never forgot where he came from, never. I mean, what you see is what you get. Bill is Bill, Hurricane Bill. He's a category five. Bill Pop grew up in North Minneapolis before his parents moved the family to New Hope, Minnesota. He says that his parents were the biggest influence on his life. Trust, wisdom, compassion. Uh, I've gotten that from my mom and dad and I've embraced it. After graduating from Armstrong High School in 1971, Bill Pop started working right away. Did not go to college. Started as a wire puller in uh, the uh, telecommunications industry in 1972. He says that wherever he's worked, he's always strived for one thing, excellence. Because when you're the best at what you do, people recognize that and see that. And when you're the best at what you do, opportunities come your way. You know, he worked his way up from the bottom, uh, did not come up with a silver spoon. His parents raised him right. The only thing he inherited was curiosity about the world. I love to learn new things. In 1981, Bill Pop saw an opportunity to offer better long distance phone service rates to small businesses and essentially Pop Communications was born. Since then, Bill Pop has been a pioneer in the competitive telecom industry. I attribute that to my awareness and my willingness to embrace change and do the changes. We are right now in generation eight of Pop's product offerings. I've never seen Bill say, well, I've done everything I can do. You know, he's still pushing, still driving. Why did Bill survive when 95 other companies like his died in the last two decades? It's because he did it right. He ran business right, he treated people right. There's two things that I do, and I, I stick to them very firmly. I'm a very good listener. I listen hard. I take notes. The second thing is, is that I embrace common sense with uncommon discipline and persistence. Through the years, Bill has received many awards and recognition for his business. But it's his service to the community that is remembered most. Bill Pop is the most generous person I've ever met, period. I've seen Bill give back, not because he feels obligated to give back, but because he wants to give back and because he believes that that is part of a life well lived. In my charity golf tournament, Bill Pop was my first big major sponsor. And uh, as he got going, he got to know the committee. And by the end of the tournament, Bill would stay around and help the committee clean up the tournament, pick up the garbage, pick up the signs. Bill would work the dump truck, load the truck. He was out there physically doing it. No sponsor in the history of a charity golf tournament has done that, but Bill did it every year. He is one of a kind, and I'm proud to call him a friend, a dear friend. I like to say that Bill has lost a, a strand of hair for every $100 he's given. <laughs> That's why he's bald. <laughs> People have to know you, like you, and believe in you if they're gonna give a real solid effort every day in order to be a productive member of the team. He's just an incredible guy. I, he's become a role model for me, and um, he has an energy about him that you wanna be around him. Authenticity, uh, discipline, drive, determination. I mean, those platitudes really do hold up with Bill. My mission in life is to be the best ever at the roles that I have accepted. Get out there and learn and teach, have fun, and make success.